Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial for you guys. Um, it's not an everyday look because I really don't wear makeup that often anymore. But it's just my go-to like, makeup look. So I hope you like it. And let's get right into the video. Um, so either I'll go in with like my Nivea face lotion or this Body Shop Oils of Life Revitalizing Oil. Just depends. Ooh, just depends how like dry my face is or like what the sitch is that morning um so and i find this just helps my makeup go on way nicer and more like smooth and then i will sometimes also go in with a primer and this is um a clarins sos but sometimes I do have like dark circles it's just like inherited unfortunately but is that the right word inherited yeah I don't know um so I'll just go in with this I know it's dark but it kind of plays the role of the color correcting red thing for me because I find that when I use the red thing I don't know what it's called but when I use a color corrector it just makes my face and my makeup look really red and orangey and it's really weird um so I just prefer to go in with this like liquid concealer it is a NYX can't stop won't stop in warm caramel so I'll just blend that in and I like doing it like around my mouth because it kind of just defines like my makeup afterwards and then I'll take my foundation which I use Estee Lauder Double Wear which I literally swear by it's the best foundation that I've used it just stays on and it's like matte it's great so I recommend that I'm in the shade Toasty Toffee Blending is key, so like I kind of do that for quite a while because it just makes all the difference. And then I'll go in with my concealer to kind of highlight, contour I mean, what is wrong with me? That's what I meant, contour. I'm going with a Sephora liquid, what is wrong with me? Concealer in Pecan Pie, which... I love because it's just super creamy and goes on really nicely. And yeah, just blend that in again. I'll take like the back of my beauty blender so that it doesn't get the like darker foundation on. Then I'll go in with this Revolution Liquid Concealer and that's in C14. So, like I said, this is like the cream contour done, and then I'll go in with my eyebrows because I don't like baking and stuff before that because then I feel like it like drips and it's just not that cute, man. Okay, so I use the Benefit Brow Wiz and a number five, which is like a dark brown kind of thing. So just go in like I just need to look at my mirror to do this because okay. 
That looks a little crazy right now, but once I actually go in with a concealer, it'll be better. So I just take my, actually I don't go in with the concealer, I go in with my foundation, like the excess that's like left on the side, so I don't waste any. And I'll just... I'll also just like cover my eyelids so that when I do my eyeshadow, like it's kind of a primer for that. So now I'll go in with this Tarte Shape Tape like loose powder. It comes with this like thing and you can't actually access it like straight. There's like a little like net thing. Um, and so I'll actually, I like using this little thing, whatever it's called to set it. I used to use my beauty blender but I found that it just dried that out. So I'm just going like that. Press down. Now I'll go in with some bronzer whilst that kind of bakes a little. I use this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I use this um, Bourjois, I think that's how you say it. Um, this like chocolate bronzing powder. Let's go over all the like dark um, contour parts that I did before. So I'll take this Real Technique. 400 blush brush but I don't really use blush like it's just never really suited me personally so yeah I won't be using blush today and I'll just dust all of this off and blend together everything and like my nose looks darker right now but then once I go in with the highlight and stuff in a second Now I'm going to do some eyeshadow. This is the Morphe palette in 9D called Painted Desert, which was actually a gift from my auntie in America. It's really cute, so thank you. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go in with, what is it called? A bucket list, which is this one here and just go all over my brows, brows, eyeshadow, my eyelids. Um, and this is the tapered eyeshadow brush from, I want to say Real Techniques, but I'm, oh, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, so just tap some off and just, you can either like window wipers, like use that technique to go like that or just go around in circles. Entirely up to you. I like doing a mix of both. And then I'll go in with that Vista, which is here. This I'm just gonna, on the outside of my eyes, just kind of, blend out. I want to make sure that like it's blended up here so that it's not super like, out there, if you know what I mean. Now I'll go in and highlight like under my brows, the inner corners of my eyes.
Oh, I don't think I mentioned it. It's the Mary Luminizer, which another one of my aunties showed me in America like years ago. And ever since then, I've literally sworn by it because it's just super great and pigmented. And then I'm going to go in with this setting brush, but like for highlight, I just like the way it goes on. It's a real technique 402. You can see that. And like you don't want the line to be too thick. Just like a... Oh, look at that. I just can't. Now I'm just going to take that brush that I highlighted my brows with to do my nose. I haven't worn eyeliner for the longest time, so I'm gonna try and do it to the best of my ability. I don't know if this was the right time to try and do it after like a year, but we're rolling with it. So I like to just kind of measure it, like put it like diagonally to my nose and just kind of print like a line there. And then Yeah, so that's basically a technique I like to use, super easy and quick, and I kind of have a perfect thing. Cat, uh, wet, cat I mean wing liner. Oh my god. See, we're just being real. Sometimes that's gonna happen. But it's okay because it's really easy to clear up. I just take a little foundation and just. That's great, I love that for me. And when I was in America, I went to this shop called Lulu, Lulu, Some, I think it's called Lulu, I don't know. Um, and she recommended this glue, this, this duo, like two in one, dark and clear one. I always used to swear by the duo dark tone like the pink thing, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I also heard from a friend that Huda Beauty glue was like incredible, but that's kind of expensive. So I was like, let me try this first. And then if it doesn't work, then I'll get the Huda Beauty glue. But this does work. And even the like light, the clear one, which usually for me never works. Like I just can't seem to put lashes on with clear glue, but it's really good. So yeah we'll try to do that now i'm just gonna curl my lashes i'm just gonna go in with the l'oreal voluminous original which my auntie again recommended me the key for this to put lashes on is to do your top um your lashes so that when you actually stick it on that like you can kind of stick them together so 
yeah I'm going to just put polished glue on the lash okay so while the glue dries on my eyelashes I'm gonna go in with my lip liner it is Maybelline color sensation in copper brown and I just like I oh, this is my go-to lip I just do a brown lip liner a nude lip and some lip gloss I will go in with this Colourpop liquid lips these are just my favourite they go on so nicely and just stay on for so long that and then I'll just go over with some lip gloss in a second before I do that I'm just going to put this eyelash on and then I'll just press these together so yeah sometimes I'll just like push it up to like whilst it's still like sticking so that it sticks that way and yeah they look way more volumized that way So yeah, that's the eyelashes done and now I'll just go in with a lip gloss and maybe just make sure this is perfect. Sorry, I keep like forgetting to look into the camera because I'm filming on my phone so it's really hard to do that um but yes yeah, so i really like this baked pecan from the collection these are super cheap it's literally maybe 1.99 or 2.99 yeah so i'll just go through oh she's so nice it's like not too pink it's like a nudie this is basically the finished look i hope you like it um i usually just go and finish it off with the mario badescu facial spray and yeah just makes it look like dewy and yeah helps it keep it on a little so i hope you liked it please let me know what else you'd like to see and remember to comment like and subscribe and yeah, um, thanks for watching guys.